I'm so excited. I can't wait to tell you about my experiment this evening. So as you can see, I'm cutting up some black grapes. I wonder what they will be. Or what they are masquerading as. Okay, I'll share the secret. They're going to be masquerading as Spotted Dick. <laughs> Don't laugh. I know, I know. I just really need Spotted Dick. So I really don't want to spend the points on raisins. So hence the black grapes. So just set those to one side a second. So we're just using the usual oat bran method. Two tablespoons of oat bran, two tablespoons of fat-free yogurt. I use the Aldi Greek one. I quite like that. Um, I've got mixed spice. And a pinch of uh, ginger because I love that and as you can see lots of lemon zest uh, just going to crack the egg in one second and I will also grab which I'll use at the moment which is a bit cheaper just trying to watch my pennies uh, my um, sweetener maybe one and a half tablespoons so just going to get the whisk bring it together and this is the base of my cake now this evening I'm making um, two cakes maybe one I don't know yet this is the first one anyway <laughs> Ooh. okay so actually I might make just the one cake and combine it and you'll see in a minute my intention so just going to throw the pretend spotted dicks in oh, very very naughty okay so they're going in look oh there's some vanilla in I can forget the vanilla I put a half a teaspoon of vanilla in I'm so forgetful Okay, so that's the base of the cake. Now, I've greased these. I was going to make two, but I might just make one uh, with my oil allowance. So, what's a surprise? I've got some hot water. And this is so expensive, hence the reason I'm not using the raisins. Golden syrup. I know. I know. I know. Golden syrup. Am I mad? Yes. <laughs> So a tablespoon of golden syrup is four points. And I hope this experiment proves its worth. So take the lid off. Where's my measuring thing gone? Oh, there it is. So I've got some hot water. Hopefully it will help it um, look better. Ooh, oh my word, look at that. Childhood in a jar. Wow. Or do I really have to make it a level tablespoon? It's so cruel. So cruel, I tell you. And do you think I should lick my finger? No, I'll be good. Okay, so that's going in the bottom. Scrummy licious. That's my new word lately. Everything's scrummy licious. I didn't lick my finger, honestly. So, in with that, I'm gonna, ooh, I'm gonna add some cook and gold. That's in the bottom there. And continue the ginger theme. Just a sprinkle of ginger in there as well. That's in there. Okay, just move those to one side. And the cake mix is about to go in. People who know me, do you know that I like cake? Most people know that I like cake. Me and cake go together like two peas in a pod. And through my weight loss journey, making cakes and puddings has been such an important part of coming to grips. Um with my desires and needs. And my desire and needs in life is a bit of cake. <laughs> so I'm gonna do something a bit different this time. I usually bake it, so I hope I'm not wasting my ingredients. One second, just to get a cloth, because that's a bit messy there. 
Okay, so what I'm doing is I've got some water. I'm going to have a go at steaming it. So that's going in the water. The oven's on the usual temperature, 180. Now I don't have any string, which is a bit of a pain in the butt. I'm going to put a bit of pleats in there. Like so, hope in case it needs to rise up a little bit. And then just loosely let it go around. Use my fingers to hold it in like so. I wish I had some string. I could speak to the boss of the house, maybe you could find me some. Anyway, I'm going to let that steam away for around about 20 25 minutes. And fingers crossed, my four points worth of golden syrup is worth it. Fingers crossed. Okay, I don't have a steamer. I'm not really sure what to do. I've covered the cake, so I'm just going to go over with some foil and trap it in. Actually, no, I'm not. Scrap it. Scrap it. I watched uh, Chris's program the other day, and I'm going to have a go at what he did. One second. I'll be back. Honestly, I am losing the plot. Really losing the plot. So, come on in and have a look. I can't remember which chef it was on the TV, but um, he said you something. It might have been Jamie Oliver, I don't know, or uh, James Martin. Um, anyway, he said put a little dish at the bottom if you haven't got a steamer. And then you just pop your cake on top like so, so it doesn't hit the bottom. And then you steam it away. Ooh! Ooh! <laughs> it'll settle, it'll settle. Anyway, I'm going to steam it. Fingers crossed, it's not going to explode. <laughs> so in about 15, 20 minutes, I'll check it out. It's done, it's done, it's done. So I left it in for 20 minutes. It's done, it's done. <gasps> it's done and it's a steam pudding. It's a steam pudding. <gasps> Come look at that. So I'm going to take it out but it's cool enough to handle and then going to turn it upside down and fingers crossed we can have a, um, a mongrel pudding <laughs> a cross between spotted dick and golden syrup steam pudding mm, we're waiting to see the outcome in a minute ha <laughs> steam pudding steam pudding Steam pudding. Come have a look. It really is steam pudding. Wow. How amazing is that? My tummy is really, really looking forward to eating that. Winner. So, I thought it might be quite fun to cut it in half. So you can see if it's a spotted dick or not. <laughs> I think it looks acceptable. I'm going to try a bit. Ginger. Oh, look at that. Ginger. Mixed spice. Dad, I can't have her. Amazing, truly amazing. It really is worth the points for that golden syrup. Mm.